Rick Coster here from The Day. We're streaming live at theday.com. We've been here since 4 a.m. this morning at the IM Fest here in New London. Of course, I'm lying. We didn't get here at 4 a.m., but we could have, and we'll probably be here at 4 tomorrow morning. I am with Matt from Symbols Eat Guitars. He's the one playing the blonde Rickenbacker that I would kill to own. Thanks for doing this, man. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Did you guys have fun? We had a lot of fun, actually. Now, when I talked to you briefly before the set, you sort of said, well, you weren't sure what the response would be, that you didn't think you had that many friends in New London. looked like you had a hell of a lot of them. We had a good turnout. Yeah. It, was, it was surprising, and we were playing a lot of new material, so uh, it, it was nice yeah, that, uh, it, up, it, was nice that it got guys. such a good response. Um, and we, so we had heard that you guys were going to be doing a lot of new stuff. What label is the album coming out on? Uh, we're not sure. Um, probably Bar Soup. I mean, yeah. the last record came out on Bar Soup. Right. Um, but yeah, most likely Bar Soup. I don't mean to like put that into question. Yeah, no, we'll, no, we'll, we'll, we'll it's hard to concentrate with the yeah, top know, 40 the, style <laughs> DJ <laughs> activity exactly. behind it. But, um, let me ask you this. I, uh, being old, I immediately recognize the quote, symbols eat guitars as being a Lou Reed quote, which is pretty hip. Would you have named the band Symbols Eat Guitars if it had been a Ted Nugent quote? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> probably not. So tell me how you guys actually, this is old history, but for a lot of folks that might not know who you are, how did you get together? Are you in fact Brooklyn centric or? Uh, we rehearse most of the time in Brooklyn. Um, Brian, our keyboard player, is also based in Philadelphia. Um, we actually, it, it took the band a while to form. Uh, you know, Joe had a recording project that was pretty much just him in his bedroom writing parts for all the different instruments. Right. And then he got people from Craigslist to basically fill out a band as performers and record an album. Um, and then eventually to tour on that record, once we had to start touring, uh, I came along and Brian came along and we both joined the band after the first record was made. Right. Um, and actually, Andy, our, our drummer, has only been in the band for a few months. This is, I oh, think, really? his, his fifth or sixth show with us. Very tight rhythm section for a couple of months. Thank you. I appreciate that. You, He's a very uh, good drummer. It makes is. my job easy. Well, your job is, you know, a lot of uh, bass players will do the, the stay below the fifth fret, ZZ top, sort of, and that's nothing wrong with that. It's a rhythm no, no. instrument. But you uh, play a very melodic uh, style of bass. I, I taught myself how to play bass listening to Paul McCartney and, ah, and, uh, say that. and John Entwistle. From sure, the, excellent. Uh, I actually, when I when I had no idea how to play bass at all, I, I got a, uh, from Netflix, I got a John Entwistle instructional DVD. Did it, uh, did it sort of piss you off how good he is? A little bit, yeah. There wasn't much instruction. It was kind of just like, well, when you get really good, you can play like me. And then he oh, would just thanks. like he would just noodle. <laughs> yeah, thanks, John. Appreciate yeah. that. I remember I played uh, bass for a number of years before the the popping sort of Chili Pepper stuff. Started. Yeah, yeah. That's so the it, one thing that I can't do. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, it's not. It's, it sounds great, but damn it, I couldn't make my thumb work like that. So yeah, doesn't like doesn't sound like you need it. But you guys got a very interesting. I always find it when someone says, well, they're an indie rock band, them being whomever, and sometimes you get put under that. Um, how do you describe it? Because it's a pretty, Joseph writes a lot of fairly ambitious material. He does, yeah. I um, I just say it's rock music. It is rock music. You know, it, 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 it's so subjective, I think, when you hear us play, like, some people think we sound like this or that, and it's very rarely uh, what we think we sound like, so. Right. Um, could, should we have Joe come on and, yeah. and answer a few questions? Joseph, come on in. Yeah. We are being joined now by Joseph, the Hello. lead guitarist and uh, the vocalist and principal songwriter, I guess it's fair to say. Uh, yeah, uh, well, yeah, for the new songs, though, we're kind of all writing together, yeah, so it's nice. Right. And again, we're talking with Cymbals Eat Guitars. Their set here at IM Festival was just pretty much phenomenal. Thank and you. I thought it was very uh, interesting. I was talking to Matt, we'd already discussed before the show, and he said, I'm not sure how many people we have that know us up here. Yeah. That was a hell of a turnout. Yeah, it was great looking out there. Yeah, especially when it started to rain, it was pretty... Uh, uh, yes. I, I, it was great. And you're under a tent. You don't have to worry about the rest of us, right? No, no. I, I just mean the visual, totally. Oh, right. Seeing okay. the people in the rain. Talk about... Uh, 
the songwriting process. You said you guys are a lot more collaborative now, and I, I Matt yeah. had explained how you were sort of a s solo beforehand, but it's yeah. fairly ambitious in terms of pop structures. Yeah, we're 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 trying to push it in that direction. I think our last record, our second record, Lenses Alien, uh, we put on a bar in 2011, was all, way in the opposite direction from that, like very right. uh, prog kind of song right. structures and uh, through composed and everything. And this is just trying to like. We have good hooks and we want to utilize them strategically right. rather than just one and done, you know? Well, it makes for an interesting mix when you have that whole vast array of material. Wow. That, that symbol would have eaten a guitar. No, not it ours. Not, not yours? No. I asked this to Matt because I was being an, an idiot, but I have to ask you to. I was aware of the Lou Reed quote, Symbols Eat Guitars, and I asked Matt, would you have named the band Symbols Eat Guitars if the quote was from Ted Nugent? <laughs> Sammy Hagar. That would have been a bad PR move, I think. <laughs> Sammy Hagar, maybe. Sammy, yeah, maybe, but not. not the dude. Sammy's the man, but, uh, yeah. All right. The nooch. Uh, the the nooch. I can't thank you guys enough for taking the time, because I know you got to probably go back to Philly or New York or wherever tonight. We wanted to watch Death, so we're going to do that. It's not but, a bad yeah. thing. Yeah. Thank you for being here, Matt and Joseph. Symbols Eat Guitars. Right. The new album will be out soon, right? Uh, kind of. Maybe soonest. Soonest. 2014. Good enough. Safe we'll be to here. Say. We're All looking right. forward to it. Right. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Have Thank a safe you. trip. Okay. Bye.